When we started up the softball program, everybody was a walk-on. So we had no leadership. We were all brand new. I can't even recall how we got to the games, but I do remember when Columbus State pulled up in their charter bus and, you know, we were a little intimidated, but we beat them. You know, that's the main thing. We, we could play ball. And so we beat all of those teams that had more money than us and quickly people started showing us support. Jolene Morris played slow pitch softball at Kennesaw College back in the 80s. She was just a tremendous player and she was the best at what she did at this school. Kennesaw always had a great reputation for academics and we wanted to be part of increasing that reputation for athletics. So, you know, it was just a great opportunity to come out and be able to do that. And I think, you know, the more successful that we were, it helped build programs in the future. A lot of people are not familiar with the fact that, you know, Kennesaw State's slow pitch program was so successful. I mean, they were like the Harlem Globetrotters of slow pitch softball. They were just so much better than everybody else. I think, you know, being part of the slow pitch team and being acknowledged in the Hall of Fame, uh, I think it makes it a little more meaningful because you're being part of the startup program and for somebody to continue to recognize the slow pitch teams, it means a lot to us. My friends ask me what I'm going to do when I retire and I tell them I'm going back to college at Kennesaw State.